you know, it's a, it's a real double-edged sword. There's a part of me that hates what Britpop became, um, but, you know, there's a part of me that's proud to have, you know, opened people's eyes to kind of a celebration of our own culture. Not that I kind of like the way they ended, you know, this beery cartoon of people waving Union Jacks around, and it started off as quite a kind of pure um, documentation of um, alienation and, and, and kind of working class British life, and that's, that's sort of how it started. And it sort of turned into something a bit rubbish, but um, I'm proud that, that people started looking at their own culture to celebrate. I remember it being really, really, a feeling like kind of, I don't know, like Victorian orphans with our noses up against the door, because the, the, the Brits back then was very much an industry bash. And it was full of kind of big, fat label owners eating foie gras, while the kind of the proles came, came on stage and, and, and did some dancing. And it was one of those things, we kind of, we didn't really stay, did we? We went in and no. kind of like did as, as this, this show that people think was kind of like, kind of uh, radical and, and controversial, but literally did how we played the song and left, you know. And I, I don't think we even saw anyone afterwards, did we? It was only a, a, a while later people kind of, ah, oh, that was amazing, it looked incredible. And it was, at the time it was literally, we stepped out of, you know, in our stage clothes, played a song, dropped our stuff and went. It wasn't a, it wasn't a big statement, that was just the, the way we used to play. Came off stage and didn't think it was that good, to be honest, because yeah. at the time we were used to, you know, going on stage and, and, and having a sort of riot, really, you know. Uh, people would be kind of screaming at us and, and going mad. It was quite hysterical, that whole point of suede, and playing to a load of stiff people in, in dinner jackets was kind of quite boring, but it seemed to, this, there seemed to be quite an interesting frisson between, between a kind of like a, a band just playing real instruments and kind of like a load of idiots sitting there chewing on their um, lobster. So it kind of it was kind of interesting, fuck you kind of moment I think. And I, and I think it kind of quite neatly encapsulated our, our whole thing. You know, I've never felt really particularly part of the music industry. I've always sort of had a healthy disrespect for it and a real suspicion of it. And um, I still don't really feel part of the music industry. Strangely enough, 20 years on, it's kind of a, I still sort of feel in the same position. I still feel like you know we've we've never been neutered by the by the music industry that we're still you know we we still you know okay we're not making records at the moment but me personally I sort of like I feel like an outsider from it really
is born. She is born.